today we're going to make a template on how to make this kicker bracket so that way we can make future ones pretty easy without having to redo the template. This is for a kicker bracket for a 19 foot Sea, Ra sea Ranger, Arima. It's going to be completely TIG welded and then drilled and bolted. on the bottom. All you need to start out with is a piece of cardboard and a sharpie and I'm using a clamp to uh, keep it so I got both hands free. So we've got the basic outline, we just need to take it back and get it uh, get the lines fully connected. So here's how it sits now. I'm just gonna use this straight edge to clean up the lines. So I got it all squared up, you just need to cut it out with either scissors or a knife. As you can see I squared up the edges and then I'm just going to offset this corner up here to make sure that's the same width all the way across because the one I built originally was kind of tapered so I'm just going to fix that that way it looks a little better and you can see I just put some blue painters tape on it and it should keep it um, straight enough to at least trace the template and that's all we really need this for anyway. Got the sawhorse set up in the backyard and just gonna make these cuts. See we got our template already so all we're gonna do is just square this up to try to make the least amount of cuts possible and then we'll cut this one and then we'll offset it about an inch and cut the other one since the sponsons are a little offset they're not square with the transom so got some safety glasses and some clamps and our straight edge earplugs so we'll get this scribed up Now that we have the first template cut out, we're gonna make use it to make the second one. The only thing we gotta do is make the uh, the second template one inch longer to account for the uh, the sponsons angle. So since this thing is offset, I had to uh, shift it over an inch here but then the front plate wouldn't be wouldn't be square either so then I just ended up making it Nathan shorter 
So that way the top and the kicker motor side is going to be all square to each other. The only thing, be off, the only thing that's going to be um, not square is this top plate. So now it's time to cut. As you can see, I still need to trim just a little bit on the bottom to make sure that it sits square on that front plate. So now that we have the two templates for the sides, we just need to make sure we get the top and the back, I guess that'd be the front. Well, the only thing left is to cut the front piece and then I need to make sure it all fits together and then get some aluminum. Well, I was able to get some uh, some aluminum from Offer Up, so now it's time to start laying it out and seeing what we got to do to get it cut out in pieces and start tacking it up. Well, I think this is going to be the most efficient way to cut these and save the most amount of material. So I'm just going to sharpie them out. This is the blade I'll be using to cut the aluminum. It's uh, carbide dipped, so it should be should be just fine. Well, change of plans. This is the only one that'll fit. So we're going to use the. Uh, skill saw.
since all these pieces are the same width, I'm just going to rip them all down at one time, make it easy. I got them all cut, so I just need to clean up a little bit, and then uh, we'll start getting ready to attack. And now we start tacking it together.
there we go. It's all tacked up. Just gonna test fit it and then um, do some more tacks on it. It should be good to go. Well, the only thing left to do is uh, wire brush all the joints, tack a few more places, and then uh, it's time to weld. Well, we got about half of it welded. Try to get some good welding shots, but it's uh, it's kind of difficult. So I'm just gonna finish it up. Well, it's def it's finished, minus the. Uh, the holes, but it's looking pretty good, pretty satisfied with it. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, and comment what you want. Uh, want me to build next.